welcome back to the Cool Fears channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. The information on this channel is intended for doll collectors and not children. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, Dino Thunder, White Ranger. But first, if you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures, analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them if that's your sort of thing why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it why don't you go ahead and hit that bell notification icon so you stay notified when i do upload new content and if you do enjoy this video or any other videos that i put out please remember to give them a thumbs up it is free and easy for you to do and it really helps the channel grow with all that out of the way guys once again we are going to be taking a look at the power rangers lightning collection Dino Thunder White Ranger. Now, this was definitely an interesting season to say the least. We got the return of Tommy himself, and this time he gets to play the Black Ranger, and someone else gets to take up the mantle of the White Ranger. And oddly enough, the person that gets to take over the White Ranger responsibilities is actually the adopted son of the series villain, who is somewhat like taken over the body of the adopted father so the adopted father and the villain are two separate entities but they're in the same body uh it's a little confusing just go and check out that season uh but yeah one of my favorite seasons to say the least probably because it sees the return of tommy but growing up i just remember loving this also probably just because of the connection to dinosaurs i mean come on growing up who didn't love dinosaurs plus power rangers come on and then i guess it's kind of a callback to like even the mighty Morphin you know days because they were supposed to be you know based off dinosaurs and whatnot whereas these ones are a hundred percent dinosaurs but anyways guys uh why don't we go ahead and jump on into what this guy comes with so he is a lightning collection figure and while most of them do come with a lot of accessories and he still does come with quite a few he doesn't come with as many uh so he does still come with an alternate head as all of them do they come with their alternate unmasked ranger head and uh this one the likeness is not that bad. I have to admit, maybe just the nose is a little too big, and I feel like it would be perfect. Uh, but maybe they couldn't get his likeness right, so they kind of, you know, changed it up a bit. He does come with two secret pans. I don't know where the other one is. I kind of lost it. Well, I think I know where it's at, but it's kind of being used by another ranger. Uh, so, yeah, I don't have that one on me, but he does come with two secret pans. An action open hand right there where he's pointing forward as well as another posed action hand, which looks like it should hold the blade in between the two fingers in the front, the index and the thumb. However, it is actually glued shut. So um, if you want that open, you're essentially going to just have to take a blade to it and uh, open it up so that way you can pose them up with that. And you do also get, obviously, this awesome lightning effect right here that is on his sword, which we will also take a look at. But let me go ahead and pull him forward so we can pull the lightning effect off. And we pose him back up, guys. There we go. So the lightning effect is actually really cool with this guy. As you can see, it even has little arrows right there, which is really cool. All surrounded by a cool lightning effect. Uh, so taking a look at his sword, this is the sword that he uses in the TV show. So taking a look at his sword, let's go ahead and pull it out of his hand. And get him once again to balance, if he will. But he won't. But he will. But he won't. But he, okay, let's, let's take a little more time. Come on. There we go. All right, now he's balanced. So taking a look at his sword, it is in the form of a leaf in a sense, I think. But the tail end is in the form of the face of a dinosaur here. It's kind of just mush with the fin, but you get the idea. Uh, the paint apps are very well done. You know, there's no bleed over with the gold into the white, so you can't complain on that because sometimes with the Lightning Collection, you will get some bad paint applications. The one thing I will point out and say on this figure is that he is missing the black outline around the red visor on his helmet. Uh, back when they first released it, Hasbro did address this and fix it, but... I got this figure long after that, so I kind of just left it, and maybe one day I'll go and touch it up. The cool thing about these Dino Thunder Rangers is that they do have their morphers sculpted onto their wrist right there. Uh, I forgot to point that out on the Blue Ranger, but he does have his there as well. So, we're basically moving on into territory of taking a closer look at this figure. So, 
I love this guy's look. I mean, he just looks menacing. First, he starts off as somewhat of a bad guy. Then he becomes an anti-hero. And then, obviously, he moves on over to the Ranger team and becomes a full-on hero. And this guy just has one of the cooler helmets uh, in the whole series and technically the whole show in general uh, and just outfits. You know, it is very reminiscent of the Mighty Morphin uh, White Ranger with this chest piece and shoulder piece right here. Uh, but, you know, the rest is obviously different. He does come with a sheath right here. So that way you can put the sword in right there and it holds it uh, right there. So that's cool. Uh, but yeah, guys, so why don't we go ahead and move on into articulation. So he can look all the way to the right, all the way to the left. He can look down that far. He can look up basically just straight at you. His arms will go out to a T pose. He does come with a butterfly joint in there. You will get, let's see here, 360 rotation on the shoulder, 360 rotation at the bicep right there, double hinge elbow joints, rotation at the wrist, hinge in and out at the wrist, as well as upper torso rotation right there, and a designated ab crunch, so that way he can crunch down that far and crunch back that far. And taking a look at his leg articulation, he can join the cheerleading squad. Look at those splits. He does come with an upper thigh cut right there. He will kick for that far. And with all Lightning Collection figures, he will not kick back at all. But he does come with double hinge knees. So if you need him to kick back a bit or kick his own ass, he can definitely do that. Taking a look at his ankles, they will go down. Let's see. These ones are a little stuck. So, oh, there we go. They'll go down that far. They will go up that far. And they do come with a ball rocker hinge joint all in all like i said a great figure despite them missing that black outline on his helmet uh but other than that you know the paint apps are really good the lines are really clean uh and so yeah one of my favorite rangers to say the least i absolutely love this guy and dino thunder it is not one of my top favorite teams though uh that belongs to time force and ninja storm but it is definitely a close third but with that being said guys join me every sunday morning for coffee and toys a weekly toy news toy talk podcast where we will go over all the latest and great toy news reveals pre-orders and so much more and join me every wednesday on instagram at cool figures for coffee and toys live where i will speak to a new guest every week about toys toy collecting toy photography and so much more with that being said guys let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool pics that i took of this guy and if you did enjoy this video please remember to give it a like share comment and subscribe and as always have a great fucking day Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those pics, you can find the full images over on Instagram at Cool Figures. And I do have a separate Instagram account for my more thought out, planned out, more edited pics called Epic Shots by Cool Figures. Check it out. If you like what you see, leave me a follow there as well. And if you guys want to see the unboxing of any figures I do reviews on for this channel, go ahead and check me out over on TikTok at Cool Figures. That's where I post all my unboxings. And join me every Sunday morning for Coffee and Toys, a weekly Toy News Toy Talk podcast where we will go over all the latest and great toy news, reveals, pre-orders, and so much more. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really appreciate it. As always, I'm your host, Jess the Bat Madrigal, a.k.a. The Buff Collector. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much to this channel sponsor, V-Rare Store. Check them out for all your Funko Pop, anime, Pokemon card, and toy print needs. And of course, use code COOLFIGURES at checkout for 10% off your order. V-Rare Store, check them out, guys.